the back seat of a moving car. I'm cut loose from the city. It watches me pass with sharp neon eyes. The night has glided the skyscrapers in silver. Every brick wall is covered with graffiti. The image of a green V with a syringe in the middle, repeated over and over. V for Falkir, the drug. The red and blue of the police car's lights flash in the white snow. Something goes clank in the night, and the sound is close enough to a gunshot to take me back to the beginning. My last meeting with Alex before I went undercover, sitting in a crummy diner opposite me. He had grinned, a friendly bear, but I had seen it in his eyes. We hadn't been on the side of the winners in a long time. He was playing it safe, talking shop. To get to the source, we needed to get to Jack Lupino. For that, you need to trust the small timers in the Punchinello family, Joey and Virgilio Finito. Lupino's number one man, Finny Carniti. All the wise guys. It must have been there. The signs of thing to come. Clearing the fear in Alex's eyes and the darkness of the coffee I was drinking and the way my Beretta dug painfully into my side. But we were blind to it then, closing our eyes to it, refusing to see it. Later that night, Max Payne as a DEA special agent was away from the fast network of databases and replaced with a new version of me, Max Payne, the career criminal with a mile long rap sheet. A couple of days ago, it all come crashing down. The bad things came, like a winter storm, pushed over the edge. I find myself in the cold, no man's land between right and wrong. No road signs. On a crash course with the Mafia, with nothing to lose. The NYPD was trailing me by the dark line of empty shell cases that I left behind. I was trying to look for the answers, but every gunshot, instead of closure, was just a hole with more questions leaking out. A spreading labyrinth of questions, like a pool of blood spreading on the snow. The car stops near the traffic lights. Outside, the light paints snow red, like the whole city was in flames. But instead, in the shadows of the car, it's all darn blues. I'm no blind to myself. No amount of painkillers can keep this egg away. No I can hide it. I'm not really in the backseat of this car. It didn't start in the diner of Alex. It started three years ago in my bedroom, and I haven't left that room since. The killer dad on my feet on the floor. Michelle lying on the bed, bullet holes like rubies on her chest. Our baby's cry cut short. The absence of it heavy in the air. That gunshot. Like an exclamation mark to end it all. The answer to all my questions had already rung out a long time ago. Even its echoes gone. The gun was fused in my hand from that moment on. That room inside me, everywhere I go. Especially now as the city presses close to the windows of the car. Its monstrous heartbeat under the tires. My squinted eyes in the rear view mirror. My hands numb and held awkwardly behind my back. Everything that came out of that room as a hopeless mess. A chaotic swirl, rising nausea that tastes like rust in my mouth. <laughs>